Hello, my name is Warren Cartwright, and I'm the Director of Product Management for Software Support and Services here at Sierra Wireless. In today's session, we're going to look at the Driver Behavior Report. So in my scenario today, I've got a number of drivers that I want to make sure are driving safely out in the world. So what I've done is in my reporting template section, I have scheduled a weekly driver behavior report for my fleet every Thursday at 6.30 in the morning. And so you can see I've got a series of different reports that are running every week. And in this case, once the report has run, I can see all of my incidents, hard acceleration, hard deceleration, cornering and speeding events. And I have three drivers that I'm responsible for. So in this case, I can see that my number one or most problematic driver is Dickin in the UK. And so on the, the map view, we have these different filters up at the top. If all I wanted to see were my speeding events, I can actually turn all of these off. When I drill into the map view, I do like to use this full screen option. You know, I might want to go and look at, um, you know, the top end of this trip into the the Nottingham area, I can see I still have a series of clusters of speeding events, but I can actually see I have a single event here as well. It's going to show me, you know, the fact that it's a speeding incident, that he was doing 116 kilometers an hour in an 80 kilometer zone. If I wanted to drill in a little bit further, I can see, you know, these individual events, see that he's pretty consistently doing quite a bit over the speed limit in many cases. And so that might be worth having a discussion with Dickon about. So if I, you know, turn on everything else, it's going to, to jump back out. And maybe this time we want to focus on those hard acceleration events for our discussion with Robert. And so we'll click on this one. I can see that, you know, the threshold has been set in the product at 250 millijis. Uh, in this case, his particular value was about 50% higher than that. And I can see that, again, there are a series of singles events, but also a kind of a cluster of them in this one particular area. Now, I happen to know that this is close to Robert's home. And so, you know, probably not a surprise that they're happening in, in that particular area. Again, might be worth talking about um, his propensity to uh, accelerate very, very rapidly and just have a discussion about uh, overall driving behavior in that case. Hopefully you've had a flavor of the driver behavior report and uh, gives you a sense as to uh, what you can do with it and uh, how you can use that to help make your employees and vehicles safer on the road.